Good evening. Tonight in this country, three separate nuclear facilities are in danger, two of them because of floodwaters, one of them because of fire. At the Los Alamos National Lab in New Mexico, there's now a mandatory evacuation of the city in effect. 12,000 people on the move because of the fire burning less than a mile away from the facility, which, as you may know, has always been shrouded in secrecy. And the flooding in the Upper Plains, which has shattered records dating back to the 1800s, has surrounded now a nuclear plant in Nebraska and threatens another. All of this while the suffering and the high water remain in Minot, North Dakota. We have all these fronts covered tonight. We want to begin with this situation in Los Alamos. NBC's Janet Shamlian is there tonight to start us off. Janet, good evening. Hi, Brian. This has become much more serious within the past few hours. Our flames are now within striking distance of this town, and the winds here have picked up considerably. Earlier, cars were bumper to bumper trying to get out of here, as the evacuations have now become mandatory for everyone. The fast-moving fire swelled overnight, burning 68 square miles and destroying at least 30 structures. Late today, a mandatory evacuation was ordered, and traffic was bumper to bumper as people tried to get out of town. Los Alamos Laboratory shut down. Officials insist all hazardous and radioactive materials are protected and secure from the wildfires for now. I will not say it is not going to go in the lab. We're doing our best to keep it off the laboratory. But a worst-case scenario loomed in the mind of residents, scrambling to evacuate. Kind of make you nervous with all this nuclear stuff around. Yeah, it's uh, a little close for comfort. <laughs> Let's say that for sure. Los Alamos is famous as home to the Manhattan Project, where scientists developed the first atomic bomb. Today, the massive complex includes 2,000 buildings spread out over 36 square miles. Obviously, our priority is to protect the national asset here, uh, protect the facility, but also we're concerned about the welfare of our 10,000 plus employees. The lab is going to stay closed for a second day tomorrow, and at this point, authorities say this blaze is 0% contained. Brian? Again, there are two other nuclear facilities in the news tonight, but in the northern plains, the problem, the threat to the plants comes from water and not fire. It's important to remember, first of all, there are over 100 active nuclear facilities in the United States. These two plants are under threat because of flooding along the Missouri River. Water broke through a barrier at Fort Calhoun Nuclear Power Plant near Omaha. Then downriver, waters are also rising around the Cooper Station plant. NBC's Mike Taibbi is in Fort Calhoun, Nebraska tonight. Mike, good evening. Brian. In fact, this is the biggest threat just from flooding that a nuclear power plant in this country has ever faced. And in fact, you should say it's two plants. This one in Fort Calhoun, which was shut down back in April for refueling. And the one at Cooper Station, about 80 miles south of here, near the town of Brownville. But federal and local authorities agree that neither plant is in immediate danger. The way it's laid down there looks like it's going to be challenging. The Fort Calhoun nuclear plant is now virtually an island early Sunday morning, an aquaberm, sort of a huge inner tube filled with water that had been built to help shield the facility from the rising Missouri River, collapsed and failed. But the berm was only a secondary safety net. Floodwaters would have to rise an unlikely eight feet higher for key buildings to be threatened. And if that happens, additional emergency measures are in place. Despite some of these challenges, uh, fundamentally, uh, we don't believe that the plant is, is posing a, 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 any immediate threat to public health and safety. Eighty miles downriver, the Cooper Nuclear Station continues to operate at full capacity. NRC officials toured this facility yesterday and say it's safe, though the floodwaters only began to recede after coming within inches of a level that would have required a plant shutdown. But most of the concerns have been about Fort Calhoun, which the NRC cited last year as failing to maintain procedures for combating a significant flood. So, before this flood, additional watertight doors and barriers were installed on all buildings, and more pumps and sandbagging equipment were positioned on site. This is not business as usual. Um, you don't build these aquaberms uh, in order to have them destroyed. That said, I think the, the prospects of a significant release of radiation into the environment are still very slim. The reactor, one of the country's smallest, is now in what's called safe cold shutdown mode. 
And this plant might have to stay in shutdown mode for weeks and maybe even months until the flood waters proceed. Nearly a million people live within 50 miles of this plant, nearly half of those in the city of Omaha, 20 miles south of here. So far, there have been no evacuations. Brian? Mike Taibbi tonight from Fort Calhoun in Nebraska. Mike, thanks. Now, here's your Pentagon Channel report. New Mexico's governor has ordered the state's National Guard to Los Alamos, where wind-driven wildfire has forced evacuations and closed the Los Alamos National Laboratory. Forest Service officials said early Monday the fire has burned at least six square miles and is threatening buildings, power lines, and natural gas lines. They say the blaze is about one mile southwest of the government laboratory. Officials at the facility say all radioactive and hazardous materials are being protected. Voluntary evacuation orders are in place and about 100 people have already left the area. State officials say the fire started Sunday afternoon. Smoke from the blaze could be seen in Santa Fe more than 30 miles away. There's good news to report in Arizona where progress was made this weekend containing three major wildfires that have already burned more than 1,000 square miles.